Hello Jack, hello everyone. We're coming up to the end of the year and with some leaves still to use up we decided to spend a couple of days on the Isle of Wight. So we packed up the car and headed down to Portsmouth to catch a ferry. So Jack, we are on our way. There you are, see? Happy in your chair. Bring it out. And the weather is very foggy. Very foggy, look at that. So, we are on our way. We've got about two hours drive ahead of us with maybe a stop at Little Chef for some food. <laughs> Which Gemma is very much looking forward to. It's the highlight of the holiday. <laughs> <laughs> so yes, we are on our way. Now, Jack is probably going to nod off any minute. And I've been working all night, so I am going to have a nap as well. <laughs> Me too! Wait, no, uh, I'm driving. Uh, you're really driving, no nap for you. <laughs> so, more to come. Right, so interesting journey so far. We've had a quick stop at a little chef. That was not very good. That was not very good because the grill was not working. And oh. uh, we've had the sat nav send us to the wrong place. Oh. Oh. And Gemma's just cut her tongue on her coffee. Uh. Oh, but we are now sat here at the ferry port waiting for our crossing to the Isle of Wight. So we are sat here in Portsmouth waiting and waiting. Uh, waiting. <laughs> but in the meantime Jack has a gingerbread man to gobble. Yay! Not the gumdrop buttons! And seems happy enough with his gingerbread man, eh little man? Mummy enjoyed the gingerbread latte. Gingerbread latte. Mm.
So, a bit of driving and a ferry ride and a little more, like 10 minutes of driving. 17. 17 minutes of driving and we are in the town of Newport mm -hmm. on Isle of Wight. Yep. Our hotel's just up the road. Yep. Jack has nodded off. Again. You. So we will go and check in and wake him up and put up with the screaming. Yay! Woo! Even the love for the grub. <laughs> All checked into our hotel, we decide to check out a nearby attraction, Butterfly and Fountain World, where they had some beautiful butterflies as well as some very large caterpillars and some also some interesting fountains and, and quite a few fish so we went to go and check that out After Butterfly and Fountain World, we went to try and find uh, one or two nearby geocaches. Geocaches are little hidden containers hidden all over the world. Um, you can find their GPS coordinates and go and hunt them down. And they're, they're hidden in pla usually in plain view in public areas. A lot of the times you've been walking by them and you wouldn't even know. But you're, you're if you search for them, you'll find there's little little um, log books that you can sign to say that you found it, and it's uh, it's a nice way to uh, get ourselves outdoors and out and about. So we went and found a nearby geocache which was very well disguised, but Gemma did find it eventually, while Jack had a nap in the car. With most of the day burned through, we decided to pop down the road from our hotel where there was a nearby art gallery, where they're doing a drink and draw evening. So we popped along to uh, do some drawing and have a drink or two before we hit the sack and got some rest for day two. So, thanks for watching Isle of Wight Part 1. We'll be posting Part 2 as well soon as we check out some more of Isle of Wight's attractions. 
if you want there is a subscribe button here and some of our previous videos here. So join us next time for Isle of Wight Part 2.